disappointing time for South African cricket. It was, it was a shock. Captain, leader, legend, fixer. On April 7, 2000, the Delhi police charged Hansi Cronier with fixing matches in a one-day series against India. Two months later, Cronier himself testified in detail about accepting money from bookies for manipulating results. His great passion of the game and for his teammates, he confessed, was matched by an unfortunate love for money. Daily newspaper probably a headline summed it up best where they said that uh, the Pope, yes, Hansi, no. Cronier had been one of the most inspirational figures in South African cricket after their reintroduction into the international fold post apartheid. He was a powerful middle order batsman who bowled slow medium, straddling the ground between utility player and all rounder. But more than that, he was a supreme leader and an ambassador for South African cricket. Cronier was such a big player, he was such an iconic player, you know, leading South Africa back after, you know, he, didn't, he was not the first captain, but he was the most iconic captain till then. Had you always thought of Cronier as some a guy that who was clean? You would have never suspected Cronier. I think it took the whole world by surprise, particularly the cricketing world. I think as teammates, it probably took us by surprise most of all. We would never, ever have thought that he got involved in in such affairs. Yeah, it, it caught everybody by a huge surprise, uh, really. Uh, I guess initially, like everybody, had shock and couldn't believe it. There had been murmurs about match fixing before this, and players had faced both censures and fines. But this was the first time a man of Cronier's stature had confessed. If one of the nicest guys in the sport was dirty, how clean could the game really be? I think, sadly, it did set us back. It set the South African team back in terms of where it was going to next in terms of leadership, you know, in terms of uh, our standing in world cricket. But um, I guess the upside that it exposed, well, not probably as much as we knew then, but certainly um, as time went on, what was really happening in world cricket. If Rony hadn't confessed, match fixing would have never been proved. It would have always stayed a rumor. In October, four months after his confession, the South African Cricket Board banned Cronier for life. He still managed to divide opinion. Had the sport itself become filthy? Was his role in the scandal only a reflection of the darkness enveloping cricket? Some fans believe to the end that the sentence was too harsh. It's a very difficult subject to talk about because there's still those that love him and adore him and there's those that are you know, extremely upset with what he did. But uh, I think it's time to forgive and, and move on. And, and often today I'm left wondering, well, where would he be today? What role would he be playing in world cricket, South African cricket? And had that not happened, I'm sure he would have been one of the, the true statesmen of our game and South African cricket, um, most of all. There's an interesting anecdote about Cronier. Speaking at a dinner function, he had once recited verses from Shakespeare's Hamlet for 40 minutes without notes. How ironic then that he ended up as one of the most tragic characters in cricket history. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.